why <laughs> why I went back to prison. I know it was because I didn't have God in my life. I went back after being out maybe two and a half to three years out on Came home with a lot of dreams, but then those dreams, I let them get my head big, and I ended up testing uh, positive for some drugs and uh, growth hormone, EQ, Tran, Tess, Insulin, Halo, Anavar, d -ball. The doctors at the, uh, at the uh, federal prison said that I had about six months before I was gonna have complete organ failure. I was killing myself, you know. That week on Monday morning, I got ready to go eat to my favorite breakfast place, and uh, my probation officer calls me, says he needs to see me in his office to sign some papers for rehab. And I was like, cool, I could stop on my way to go have breakfast. And he made small talk with me about what place I was gonna go and all that, so. I felt like he had set me up. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should've seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling. Six time failing, I went back to prison. Got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to give back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Wrong Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, mi familia, mi raza, you already know what time it is. Suvanse la suburba, cause we about to take a ride. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Wrong Strong. All in your name. Yes, 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 thank you. It was right when I came home, I, I was looking to work in the uh, fitness world and, and, you know, at this time, tattoos weren't as what they are today. So they kind of looked at me a little crazy because I was all tatted up. You know, I went from gym to gym. I ended up going to uh, LA Fitness that's in the Biltmore area of Phoenix. And it's kind of like a, it's, it's a rich area. Phoenix where there's a lot of single people that have businesses. It's a good area. Location, location, location. And I walked into this uh, LA Fitness asked to speak to the manager and there was a guy there that was from New York that I, I exchanged a couple of like just words that told him where I was from. I told him I had just got out and I didn't really think they were gonna hire me because I was covering tattoos, I, I was fresh out. I was That was like my first week out. I was actually working in construction when I got the call and the, and the guy from New York said, hey, I'm gonna give you a chance. It took me a little bit of time to kind of get used to the different environment. Uh, not ghetto, like a lot of, you know, people that, <laughs> just not where I grew up. Throughout that whole year, I became pretty popular. A lot of people wanted to train with me. I was working from 4 a.m. to 9, 9 p.m. And uh, I was trying to fit in. I, I was trying to find myself. I, a year later, I end up opening up my first gym, Alpha Omega Fitness.
everything just kept moving, you know, forward. Everything kept moving according to uh, supposedly my, my plan. And, and six months later after that, I teamed up with Fit Training Center, also another gym in the Biltmore area. More money, location, location, location. You know, through all this time, I'm, I'm dating women, I'm cheating, I'm lying. I'm, I'm just a, a bad person trying to be a good person. You know, um, that year I ended up getting picked up by 5% as a sponsored athlete. And, you know, my head started getting bigger and, and, and bigger. My traumas became like my, my dramas. I was reliving everything that I went through with the dating, the drugs, the playing cat and mouse game with my probation officer. You know, it was nonstop like running. At that time, uh, Spice was really big, and, and everybody knows how bad that stuff is. And I was, you know, on daily basis using that stuff. You know, it had been two years. Why would they test me now, you know? I used to always say that. And guess what? <laughs> they, they tested me. And even after that, he tried to help me. He tried to send me to counseling. I used to hate going because it was at night and I was already like you know, tired after the gym. And it, it's crazy to think now how I did all that to myself. Like all that, like how the enemy convinces you that everything is against you, everything is wrong, everything like, it, it, it's just, it's crazy to think that now. Cat and mouse, all, all your life. Finally, he, he just, he got tired of, of trying to help me, trying to everything, and he, uh, he set me, set me back. I was on my way back to prison, and to one of like the most dangerous prisons, you know, in this side of the country. You know, I, I went, back to prison because I used to think that I was alone, that I was like broken, that I was unwanted, like sad, not forgiven, <laughs> just a nasty, nasty person. That's what I, I used to think about myself. So I always gave myself the short end of the stick about everything. And along the process, I hurt a lot of people all it, all it was, it was a life of, of brokenness, sin, and just complete, just lost. And Jesus said to them, I will teach you how to fish for men. I, I took that verse to heart because if he was able to fix my heart, he's able to fix anybody's heart. So I'm going to tell everybody about him, and I'm going to tell them with joy and with assurance that I know what Jesus could do in their life. My name's JC. I am Ron Strong. Hey, and that's why I went back to prison because I didn't have God in my life and I didn't believe in Jesus. So to save you some time, it's time. Catch you guys in the rebound.